All right, please excuse my appearance. I just got out of work and I've been sweating bullets all day. So I'm looking a little glossy right now. But anyways, instead of going straight home afterwards, I decided to quickly stop by at one of my Dollar Tree locations because I received word this morning from my husband that they're actually doing like a, a summer sale clearance thing. And he said he saw some puzzles on like a really good deal. So as I said, we are at one location now. And if I don't really see much here, I'm probably gonna stop by the other one that's also close to my house. So let's get out of this roasting car and let's go inside and see. yellow star toys buy one get one free oh look what i just so happy to find here i don't have any sherlock brands so this may be a great opportunity for me to pick some up yeah these are all buy one get one Ooh, snap golf course scenery got one here with a bunch of candies oh oh this is nice Look at that one. This is a thousand pieces. That's a great deal. We have this one here. Got some more candy. Farm stand here. Oh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else here. It looks like these are the only puzzles, but these are the ones outside. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more inside. So let's go in there and let's see what else they have. Looking like the only other shelf that they I remember seeing puzzles on looks to be uh, pretty much empty. Let's check out the other location. So we got the same sale and there's a lot more of these here, which is quite exciting. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's nice. Mountain Peak Reflection. It even gives you the challenge level on the back. I've never owned one of these Sherlock's before. So we have this one here that we saw in the other location. Oh, Old Faithful. Oh, that's definitely a maybe. Let's see, oh, wow. Look at that. <gasps> that's a great winter image. A village in winter. I love this. This is definitely a maybe. Ooh, popcorn. This location definitely has a much better selection. Look at this one. That's beautiful. That could be my house. There's a 500 piece set. That one is really pretty. You know, that's my beach house, right? I did have a little bike ride around town and made my way back just to go take a walk out on the beach. There I am. Let's see what else, what else we got here. That's pretty. Not my style, but it is nice. Well, this is a cardinal set. I don't believe this is on, well, part of the sale. But that is a really cute image. I love this. I don't know how much these are though. It's only 500 pieces. We'll look around. We'll see if we can find that one elsewhere. Which is this one? Is this the same old faithful one? This is only 300 pieces. Oh look, and of course there I am waving at you from my front porch. Hello. We also have some random dogs here. That's a 500 count. We have this one down here. Got flowers, a bunch of buttons. And then, oh, look at that one. This is Atlantic City. That's cool. It's only 300 piece though. I don't know if I want something that small of a count, but I don't know, maybe I will actually for like a little quick fun. I'll put this in the maybe pile. That one is nice as well. That's my retirement home right there. Got ourselves a nice fall puzzle here. That one's fun. That's cool actually. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. You can't go wrong with a good fall puzzle. Oh, that's very majestic looking. That's beautiful. Cascade. Wow. Got a tiger image here. <gasps> oh, this is fun. Look at that. This is a thousand pieces. A winter visit to the Big Apple. It's my hometown. It looks like a little cartoon. Oh, this is definitely going on the maybe pie. We got some birthday candles. That's pretty much it. I have to try to fix my mess here. Now, I know they're buy one, get one free, but you know, I'm still trying to budget here. I don't want to be spending too much money, even though it's a fantastic deal. But this is kind of hard to resist. There's a lot of images here that I really love. Oh boy, this is tough. Now, this sale is only going on till the 7th, so I don't even know if my video is going to be out on time for you to take advantage. But if not, this is something good to know for next summer. And oh, look. 
also has a selection of $1 puzzle sets. These are more for kids, but you know, they do have them, which is quite nice. We got neon, oil, and glitter, and they're 48 piece sets. So that's good to know. If you're looking to get a little something for a kid who likes puzzles. Oh my God, I didn't even see these. Oh my God, ooh, this is exciting. Oh. Oh my God, it's full. There's no way I can pull this all down. Oh boy, what am I gonna do? I don't wanna be rude and pull this down, but let's see what we can look at here. This is cool. We have 1,000 piece. That's beautiful, actually. Oh look, how romantic. Paradise found. That does look beautiful. I love this one. We have this 500 piece. That is beautiful. You know me and lighthouses. Artist series. So what's the difference here? Now I'm trying to see any major differences between the Sherlock's and the, these kind of boxes and the ones that are in the smaller one. And so far, all I'm seeing is that these are from the Artist series. So I'm not really sure if there's any quality difference between these two types of Sherlock's. I may have to pick up a couple of these and see for myself. We have this one here called something that I can't pronounce. Look at that, that's cool. Got some random animals in a carriage here. We have a random woman reading a book. Oh, that's cozy. Oh, I love this one. This is 500 pieces. What is this one called? 1940s breakfast nook. Oh man, you know how I am about breakfast. Spring Mountain, look at that image. That's absolutely beautiful. And these puzzles are a pretty good size too. They're 27 by 19 inches for the 1,000 piece sets. This is fantastic. We have a 500 piece similar to the 1,000 one that we saw of New York City. High above NYC. I love this one. Near the sea. That's cute. Got like a pond. A random pond here in the woods. This is called Mountain Lake. Okay, it's not a pond, it's a lake. Could be a pond. I don't know. What else is there? Ooh, oh my god. You know, I have a thing about Victorian houses. This is absolutely beautiful. If I were looking for a new house, I would probably look for a Victorian. Late summer garden. Ooh, this is nice. I like this one. I like to see myself living in there. That's probably going in the maybe pile now too. We got this one here. That's cool. Not my style, but it's nice. I like this one. This looks like a painting here. What is this one called? An artist world. It was on the bottom there. Got some random animals dressed up in costumes. We have cows collage. That's pretty cool if you're, you know, like into cows and stuff. I love the farmhouses though. That's my thing. Oh, look at this one. Oh, I love this one. Cape May Harbor. This is a better look at the image here. Oh, I love this might be in the maybe pile. This is not good. My maybe pile is growing. Panorama of London. Look at that. That's cool. That's a very nice image. I wonder if the print on these pieces look as good as they do on the box. That'd, that'd be a curious find. That's really nice. This one's called Miami Artistically in the 305. I don't know what that means. This is really cool. I love this artwork. This one is a time to dream. That's beautiful. We have this image of random stuff going on here. I don't know how any of these relate to each other. Imagination and motion. Yeah. Railways of yesteryear. That's fun. That looks like it'd be hard to do though. Look at this one. This is 1,000 pieces. This is happy winter. This is gorgeous. You know, that'll be my cabin in the woods. Who's that? I don't know that guy. That's not my husband. Some random stranger hanging around in his sleigh. Hmm, I don't know about that. Got a bunch of butterflies here. Seamless butterflies. This one looks like it'd be super hard to do. That's cool. Not my style, but that's cool. Oh, look, another one of these cute artistic images here. This is beautiful for spacious skies. This one looks like it'll be super hard to do. There's so much going on. I love these. This is so much fun. I didn't even realize they had all these. 
Look at this one, Summer Escape. Yeah, I could have really used a summer vacation this year, but what can you do, right? This one is Ford Abbey, is that right? That's beautiful. Imagine living in a place like that. I would assume that's a lot of housework though. I already struggled with the housework in my house, so I can't imagine taking that on, but you know, you never know. Got a image of a moose here in the woods. It's just called moose. Yeah, okay. That's pretty though. European Town Dinner. Yes, please. This is a cool image, but now it's making me hungry. I've worked so hard today, it was so hot, and I could really do with a shower and a nice hot meal. But we're not done here yet, so let's keep looking. We have Prelude to Summer. That's a pretty image. Look at that. That one's 500 pieces. It looks like it'll be a bit challenging though. All right, we're getting down to the last row here. This one is also very... Oh, look. This one's called Old River Cottage. They forgot to mention that it has random hot air balloons in the background. Anyways, that is a great looking house. <gasps> oh no. It's Heronin. Mom's apple pie. This is perfect. Some random animals with flowers. Lovely evening. They're cute. I have no idea what's going on in this image. This is actually kind of scary. But if you like this kind of random stuff, it's called Catopia. Mmm, no. Oh, this one is cool too. This reminds me of a Wasaki image as well. This one's called Classic Car Race. That's fun. I'm not really that into cars though. And then we have a 500 piece of random dogs. That's cute. All right, let's see what I can reach up here. This is a Concord puzzle. I've never heard of this brand before. This is beautiful. These are $6 here. And, oh, look at this one. That is a beautiful image. And there's just repeats in the back there. We got ourselves some random dogs here. And these are the cardinal sets. I already have some cardinal sets. Toy puzzles, 500 count. I kind of doubt this is $1. I don't think this is a dollar. I'm assuming these are the $1 puzzles. And these are the $5.95 sets. So I do have these already, but I'm going to quickly show you what they have here. We have the 500 piece count farm cottage. That's a beautiful image. Cuddling Posse. Posse's. Posse's? Is that right? Oh, jeez. I don't know. And looks like the same one back there. And these are the $1 sets. And I do have these at home as well. I think I only have one of them. But this is beautiful. We have a lake scene. That's a very serene. And it's open too, so that's good. We have Portugal Palace. Look at that. That's really cool. We have another 500 piece of boats. Some more boats. Portugal Palace. And that's pretty much it for those $1 sets. So if you didn't know, Dollar General does sell uh, $1 sets. This is definitely a brand that I may be picking up next time. I, I, I kind of went a little crazy with the, you know, buy one get one sale, so I don't have enough in the budget for um for those today. But next time, right? And I think that's pretty much it. Now this location was definitely way better than the last one we went to. So you know what? I need to get out of here because my pile's gonna get bigger. So you know what? Let's head home. Well, there goes my no buy phase. But to be honest, you know, I couldn't really pass up such an amazing sale. And really, in the end, considering how many sets that I bought, it really didn't cost me much. Obviously, it was buy one get one free. Now hit that like button if Dollar General is one of those places you like to go puzzle shopping at. And if so, let me know what brands do you prefer to pick up from there. So here are the sets that I picked up from Dollar General's summer clearance sale. The first one here is a 300 count set. And this one is called Barbecue at the Round Barn. And it is 19 by 13 inches when it's completed. So it's not very big. And now that I look at this picture a little further now, I see that this is a heronym image. So when I was at Dollar General trying to decide which sets to get, 
obviously the ones you know that i was most attracted to were now that i see were the heronym images and this was the only one that i picked up of that style because i could swear that i had some of those images already and now that i look at this image even more i kind of have a feeling like i have this one already it kind of looks familiar to me i don't know but you know what it doesn't matter because this was pretty much in the end equivalent to two dollars and fifty cents so it's no big loss really the main reason why I picked up the 300 count was because I wanted to do a comparison of all the different count sets and see if there was any difference in quality. And especially since I did the Dollar Tree puzzle comparison, you know, with the puzzle count differences, there was a difference in quality. So, you know, again, I'm curious to see if that's the same with this particular puzzle set. And this is from the brand Sherlock. Now, I don't have any puzzles by this brand and I've been seeing these pop up more at my local Dollar Generals. They used to only carry the Cardinal sets and there was another one that they had there which was the the Concord one which I've never seen before. That was a little more than what I would have liked to spend at the moment at Dollar General. I think it was six dollars so next time I hit there I'll probably pick one of those up so I can check those out as well. The next puzzle that I got is called By the Sea. And this one is 500 pieces. The artist is Kathleen Dennis. It is 19 by 13 inches when it's completed. And again, it's from Sherlock. Just so you know, all the puzzles that I got in this video, they're all from the same brand because um, they were the only ones that were in the buy one, get one free sale. And really, I don't even know if I'm gonna like this brand or if I'm gonna hate it, but who, who can pass up a sale like that? But anyways, this image is fantastic. I know it's the end of summer, but you know, pretty soon it's gonna get really cold out here and I'm not gonna be able to help myself but think about a nice, you know, warm, sunny day by the beach. Even though I'm not a beach person, but you know, every once in a while, it's all right. It's still a beautiful image and I think this one's gonna be a lot of fun to put together. The third one that I picked up is called A Village in Winter. Yeah, I know it's not winter yet, but that's okay. The artwork is by Steve Chris. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 27 inches by 19 inches when it's completed. And this one's beautiful. I totally live in this town. And you know this house right up on the front here is mine because, you know, of course I left all the lights on. Except I really don't know who that old man is. He's probably a neighbor coming to visit. I don't know why. But anyways, this is such a beautiful, serene image. Now, as you saw during the shopping spree, that there were the bigger size boxes of the Sherlock branded puzzle and there were also the smaller boxes and the smaller boxes were from the artist series so you know I kind of had to get some from each collection and because I really want to see if there's any you know real differences with these so the first one that I picked up is called 1940s breakfast snook it is 500 pieces and it is 19 inches by 13 inches when it's completed. The artist is Janet Kruskamp. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know why I picked this image, right? I couldn't resist. It's breakfast, my favorite meal of the day. So far, the only thing I'm seeing on this table that I would enjoy is probably the buttered toast and the cup of coffee and some orange juice too. I'm not into cereal, that's not breakfast to me. There's a lot going on in this image. I think so far out of all the puzzles that I have here, I'm looking forward to putting this one together the most. The next puzzle set that I picked up is also from the artist series. And this one is called Late Summer Garden. The artist is Dominic Davison. It is 1000 pieces and it is 27 inches by 19 inches when it's completed. And I don't really think I need to explain why I picked this particular image because you know, this is a, you know, a picture of my house. There's tons of trees, flowers. I even got a little fountain with a little pond. But anyways, I'm also really looking forward to putting this one together. And then the last one that I picked up from Dollar General is another artist series set. And this one is called Paradise Found. It is also 1000 pieces. The artist is Colin Bogle, 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 something like that. And it is 27 inches by 19 inches when it's completed. And once again, this is an absolutely beautiful image. This is such a beautiful garden. And look, check out that gazebo in the background. You know that's me and my husband being all romantic and stuff. 
honestly, I don't know who was creeping around taking pictures of us whilst we were, you know, having some time together. But anyways, what a beautiful shot. So I'm really, really hoping that I actually like this brand because I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, six puzzles from Dollar General's summer clearance sale. Now, as you saw on the box, these are all at regular price, $5, which really is not a bad price for, you know, 500, 1000 count puzzle sets, even 300 puzzle count sets. And with these six sets, I did not pay $30. I paid $15. What a savings. Now, I have a feeling that by the time this video comes out, that the sale will be over but at least this will give you an idea on what to look for next summer at dollar general and at that point you'll be ready with i hope enough money to kind of splurge and empty out the shelves if you wanted to because when you break it down you're really only paying two dollars and fifty cents per set and they're brand new which to me is a fantastic price i mean I, I, there was no way I was going to resist picking up sets, even though I'm, I was in my no buy phase, but you know, obviously that's, that's over, but that's okay because you know what? I have lots of fun ahead of me. Now you can also hit the like button if you are a fan of the Sherlock collection. And if so, or if you're not, let me know down below, what have your experiences been like with, with this brand? I'd be curious to hear what you guys have to say about it, but you know what? I'm really looking forward to trying all of these sets out. And as I said, I really want to do a comparison video like I did with the Dollar Tree puzzles and kind of see if there's any differences with the quality and the puzzle count. Now, if you're looking for a place to share your puzzle hauls and talk about puzzles that you're working on, I do have a puzzling community that you can join and I can leave a link down below that will direct you to where that link is. And if you're new here, and if you wanna hear what I have to say about these puzzle sets and other puzzle brands, be sure to subscribe. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you are all doing well, and I will see you in the next one.